All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are at none other than Family Kingdom Amusement Park here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, I just entered the park. Um, it looks like it's just free admission. I uh, walked in and went to one of these kiosks to purchase my wristband. One thing to mention, online I looked and it looked like it was $48 uh, for a wristband to come in for all day. When I got in and went to the kiosk, it told me an early bird price was $28. So um, that's $30 of savings right there. Or sorry, $20 of saving right there. And then you just walk over here to this little wristband redemption place and they put it on you and you're good to go. So uh, my whole family will be here later. Um, I'm gonna start out myself just getting a couple of the credits out of the way. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Um, start with probably Swamp Fox and then uh, come ride. I wanna say Dew Whopper because that's the model. Of, that's loud. That's, that's very loud. Anyway, um, a wild mouse model that's at Maury's Piers is called Dew Whopper and it looks exactly like the one here. I gotta figure out the name. Anyway, I'm gonna try to, oh, it's Twist and Shout. It's Twist and Shout, I just saw it. Um, so I gotta ride that, and there's a dragon and a wacky worm. I'm gonna try to ride everything here. So, I turned away from Swamp Fox, so I guess I'm going over here first. I can already see part of the dragon coaster. Um, some people count the log flume as a credit. I do not count this one as a credit, so I'm gonna, I'll probably ride it, because it's gonna be fun, but I'm not gonna count it. Here's the dragon. No one's around here. Don't know if it's open or not. What's crazy is it looks like I have to cross the street to get to Twist and Shout. So that's interesting. There's a bridge there though. Oh, that's not a street. That's not a street, it's a little creek. So anyway, I'm gonna start out here. Looks like I might be the very first one to ride Dragon today. So uh, yeah, so far, just walked in, nice little park. Let's get started. Got a bit of a rollback to start. Woo! Here we go. Man, that actually launches. I'm not even kidding. That launched. I don't know what kind of model this is. I'll have to look it up. But that launch. This is fun. What the heck? This is really fun. That's crazy. I'm not even kidding, this is a launch kitty coaster and it's not one of the new Zamperla ones. It's, uh, it's, it's an older model, obviously. This is fun. I did not expect this one to be fun. This is actually really fun. Holy crap. Give a little bit of a stop there. Might be my last lap here. This is so fun. Dragon, it's new for last year, it's brand new. So, man, this looks like a lot of, or this is a lot of fun. I, I'm shocked, I love this. Woo! Okay, so after a rather surprisingly good ride on their little dragon coaster, up next is the one I'm definitely here for, Swamp Fox. It's been operating since 1966, classic wooden coaster. I'm very excited to ride it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hot out here. Uh, so it's possible that after I ride Swamp Fox here, I'm gonna go out, cool off for a little bit. I know my family's waiting for later for the sun to go down a little, um, cause this place opens till 10 p.m. And I might wait to come back a little later so it's not so hot, but I really wanna get this credit. So let's do it. Oh, it has bus bars. That's very exciting. Love me a coaster with bus bars. I'm really excited for this. It looks really fun. Definitely the best coaster I'm gonna ride while I'm down here. Even if it's bad, I'm still gonna like it the most. All right, I just got off a of Swamp Fox and walked over here to this bridge to get the other half of the park. But let me talk about my ride on Swamp Fox real quick. Swamp Fox built in 1966 is like almost 50 years, or almost 60 years old, sorry, it's 58. That thing is well maintained. They retrack it. You can see the new track and you can feel that it's smooth. Some really good pops of air time. I've only ridden in front so far. I will be riding more. Man, that ride is fun. Also, this park is very pretty around it. Like, 
the creek here that goes right through the middle of it. This bridge to walk through, very nice. Um, I'm very much enjoying my time here so far, but I definitely do still recommend getting the, the early bird pass. You can't see my wristband from here, but I definitely do recommend getting that because maybe I wouldn't necessarily want to pay $50. I mean, if I'm spending all day here with my family and like having, and it's a little bit cooler outside. Yes, I say definitely, definitely worth it. Um, but I am glad I got the early bird discount. I don't know how long it goes. Uh, I don't know if it's like an hour after the park opens or something, but the hours for this park right now are 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I got here right at 3 p.m. and got the early bird. So just keep that in mind guys are coming here. I'm just walking down this little sidewalk here. It goes by the creek. I'm gonna go over to ride the wild mouse. I did say that I was going to leave and come back when it's a little bit less hot. I decided I might as well just go ahead and get the wild mouse before I leave and come back. Um, no one's around, so I'm gonna get it real quick. The entrance to this one is a bit odd. Walking like underneath it and through it. I had to walk all the way around. I'm not complaining, I just thought it was funny. There we go, Family Kingdom, Twist and Shout. I keep wanting to call it Doo Whopper because I'm worried here, but it is Twist and Shout. All right, Twist and Shout. Whoa! I basically walked right in. There was no one in line, so it was literally a walk on. I'm gonna have to hold on to my hat, maybe. Uh, literally a walk on, Zen ride, nobody's around. So they're gonna have to send empty trains just to get me off of this, I think. No, they're not. They've only got three in the station. Whoa. Woo. It's a smooth one. I always like it when they're smooth. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. Definitely mummy stop right there. That's a lot of fun. Very smooth, good ride. A lot of laterals, of course. Wild mouse, a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, just rode Twist and Shout twice. Shout out to the ride ups on this. They are super duper cool. They are the goats. Absolutely cool. Love them. Shout out to you guys. I hope you're watching my video. I uh, gave them my YouTube channel name, so hope they're seeing it. They're doing a great job up there. Love it. So, it is kind of hot. Um, so I am gonna go take a break and I'll be back in a little bit. Got one more coaster to ride. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys when it's a little bit less bright out here and um, a little bit cooler. Here we go, Seth. Ready to ride? I'm too excited, I can tell.
right, so it's been a little while and I have officially come back into Family Kingdom uh, with everybody else this time. We rode Swamp Fox, which I think they all loved. Seth really loved it. He put his hands up and everything. He still wants to ride the other coasters. And we rode Dragon. All right, this was so fun last time. I came back to ride again with everybody else. these two don't ride kitty coasters but i told them they had to ride that was so weird it's launch, launch. yeah launch it was funny did you actually enjoy it yeah it was fun yeah so we're going over the bridge here there's two more coasters we all have to ride well i rode the wild mouse earlier but i'm gonna ride it again with them um and then the wacky worm so i did not ride that one earlier did not try i was too hot so anyway, overall thoughts so far. Um, I really like this place. It's not been too crowded. Um, other than it being really hot, the weather's been nice, especially now it's, it's cooled off at, at least 10 degrees since I was here earlier. And it's a really nice park. It reminds me a lot of a boardwalk park. It's not quite a boardwalk. Um, you can see the ocean nearby, which is awesome. There are these bridges that go across the creek that I showed earlier. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little park. Probably gonna go ride the log swim as well. Dark ride. I wanna see around, see what's here. All right, we're riding the log swim. Hopefully we don't get too wet, but we'll see. The ride up told me we will, so yeah, we're glad. Yeah. Oh well, it's hot out here, so a little water will feel good. Yeah, we've got two drops on this one. Actually, a lot of them have two drops.
I, I don't know, sometimes the first one is worse than the second one. That one was pretty much equal. Yeah, but then where am I going to go? My feet are so Yeah, I put my feet up so they're not as wet. Anyway, this is a fast log flip. Like, the water goes fast. That was fun. That was fun, though. I liked it. I liked it. I'm very wet, but like I said, we're at, literally at the beach, so. This is log swim hair. This is log swim hat. I liked it. I did too. I give it an A. All right, after riding the log flume and getting super wet, um, I'm going back for one more ride on Swamp Fox. Probably gonna ride in the back because um, I've only ridden twice in the front. The sun's starting to set, it looks really nice. I'm getting ready to wrap up this vlog, so I hope I covered everything pretty well. Uh, if you're here and you're trying to ride the Wacky Worm and you're over 58 inches, I think, you can't ride it. I mean, they weren't, they wouldn't even let adults ride as kids, so don't try to get that one, you won't get it if you're too tall. Anyway, um, overall, I really enjoy this place. It reminds me of a boardwalk park. It is right next to the ocean. It's very nice come between three when they open at three come between three and four p.m and you get the um, early bird price just twenty dollars off like i mentioned at the beginning of the video and um yeah i think i'm gonna wrap it up here as i go to ride one more time on swamp fox uh so hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you leave a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video from Family Kingdom in Myrtle Beach. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.